we get it. Bills can get complicated. As a solar billing plan customer, we're here to help. In this video, we'll walk you through the main sections to help you better understand your solar bill so you know what you're paying for and when. Each month, you'll receive a bill summarizing your electric charges and credits. The monthly bill displays the due date and the amount due in the upper right-hand corner. The electric charges and credits portion of your bill is divided into two key sections, electricity import and electricity export. Importing electricity is when you use electricity from the grid. And exporting electricity is when you produce more electricity than you use and send that excess electricity to the grid. The total electricity import kilowatt hour shows you how much and when you imported electricity from the grid. The amount of electricity you imported is used to calculate your current charges on the right. Your current charges include non-nettable charges, delivery import charges, and generation import charges. Non-nettable charges may include monthly minimum charges, meter charges, and basic service charges. Non-nettable charges are not eligible to be offset by electricity export credits. Delivery import charges are charges for delivering the electricity to your location. Delivery also includes charges for other services, including billing and customer care, as well as maintaining and modernizing infrastructure. Generation import charges are charges for electricity you used in your home or business. In the next section, electricity export shows you how much electricity you exported to the grid, as well as any delivery or generation export credits you earned for those exports. The Applied Credits section shows the amount of delivery and generation export credits that have been applied to your bill. Your applied credits may include credits from this month, in addition to any remaining credits from previous months that you have not already used. The total electric service is the amount you owe for electricity this bill period after calculating your charges and applied credits. In addition to the monthly summary, your bill provides an SDG&E year-to-date solar billing plan summary to help you track your year-to-date balances and also provides an estimation of your annual true-up adjustment. The estimate shown here gives you an idea of the additional charge or credit you may see on your true-up bill. At the end of each 12-month period, you will receive a true-up bill. If you exported more than you imported throughout your entire true-up period, your true-up bill will reflect an annual true-up adjustment as a charge or credit calculated to appropriately compensate you for your net exports. This amount adjusts for export compensation that has been previously credited to your account in the form of export credits. If you imported more than you exported during the 12-month period, no adjustment is necessary and this amount will be zero. After you receive your true up bill, your account is automatically reset for a new 12 month period. The year to date non nettable balance is the total of all non nettable charges from each bill period in your 12 month true up period. The year to date delivery balance is the total of your delivery import charges and delivery credits that have been applied during your true up period. The year-to-date generation balance is the total of your generation import charges and generation credits that have been applied to your true-up period. If you have any remaining generation or delivery credits that can be applied to future charges, you will see those credit amounts here. To learn more about the solar billing plan, visit sdge.com slash solar billing plan.